that's the first thought technique. Yeah. So, so right. I'll give you, I'll give you a quick example. Um, I actually have an example back here, an old logo of my, my business, Pharaoh PR for the, for the word Pharaoh, we used an Egyptian Pharaoh. Now, clearly I'm not Egyptian. I'm not appropriating any culture or anything like that, but it was just a play on words to get people to remember the name. So we had like a little logo of, of, an Egyptian pharaoh. So that's that's taking something boring, which is which is this word here, pharaoh, and making it interesting, exciting, something dynamic to your brain, which is that you can do that at 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 um you know at, at any time. I love Nerd Stalker, by the way. The the eight bit <laughs> man there is a great logo yeah. for that. Um, you know, but like but so let's say for example, uh, so here's when people first learn some of these techniques, they start to overdo it, they overthink. Um, so say for example, you meet someone, you know, name, name Mike, you know, you might think, oh, I could use Michael Jackson or I could use this or I could use that or I could use, and, and you wrap guilty. yourself guilty up in charged. trying to, yeah. So the best thing for you to do is the first thing that pops in your mind, even if you don't like it, the first thing that pops in your mind, use it. And it mm -hmm. trains you to start thinking of your first thought. And this actually affects all sorts of cognitive function, even beyond memory. I work with uh, with writers and programmers actually to to get them to to do to make their material good in the first draft, rather than needing several drafts and several edits and stuff. Mm -hmm. But to to get the first thought right, and it's actually a matter of trusting yourself. So the the metaphor I use for this, I, I, I love I love metaphors, but I can, if I can use a quick metaphor, you might like this. Um, mm -hmm. I use a metaphor of a traffic light. And when you have ideas, think of the traffic light as something you control and the ideas that come into your mind are like the vehicles that are driving by the traffic light, okay? Mm -hmm. So what we end up doing is we look at that first idea and we critique it. We say, oh, no, no, stop. Oh, that's horrible. It's got a, a scuzzy bumper and it's smudged out window and it's a terrible car and everything. <laughs> the best idea is actually to accept that first thought, get it out of your system. If you're writing, write it down. If you're planning, you know, planning, strategizing, write down all these ideas, get mm -hmm. that car to get moving. And the next car is even better. And then the next one and the next one, and the next one, that's what mm -hmm. master writers do. People like, uh, like, you know, Stephen King is very famous to, to do this, but uh, many other writers have, have done this where they think of their first thought, they, they get it all out then they go back to edit as well. So the idea of getting used to trusting your first thought and not second guessing yourself constantly helps your memory, it helps your creativity, helps so many different cognitive functions. And it's a practice. It's something that we can do every mm -hmm. single day. Now that doesn't mean that you just do a brain dump and you hit send on your email. Like look over it and review it. But if you get into this mindset, that first brain dump will take you a minute where before you were laboring over it for a half an hour. That's the right. power of kind of that, that Zen thinking.